Good morning from the lovely Cold Springs, New York. We are at the Cornish Estate Trails. We're actually gonna be heading up that way there very shortly. We are here with Bernard Sanders, the cameraman. And here are the ruins we're actually gonna be taking a look at. Now, uh, when was this built, does it say? Yeah, 1910s? 1910s. Yep. By a diamond merchant. 650 acre estate. So there is a lot to explore here. I have not seen everything. There's a standard video we've already done. Um, make sure you guys go check that out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So you guys know, if you do come here, we're just south of Beacon, New York. There's lovely parking there, lovely parking here, and lovely parking over there as well. Um, and then if you go around the corner, you can park along the river as well. I should probably turn the camera so they can see. Where oh no, running. it's 360. Yeah, but you didn't turn it. Yeah, but it's no, no point. So great thing about the VR, and guys, you can enjoy this conversation, is you can pan the camera in any direction you want and see whatever you want at any given time. You don't have to focus on what I'm talking about. Doesn't matter. Because, no, even if I turn this, it does not turn the camera. It doesn't turn what they're looking at because whatever they're focused on is going to be what the what, where it stays. Um, it can be a pain in the ass watching these, but they're really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy the experience. All right, we're working our way slightly in through the nice little patched wooded section before we get to the paved trail. All right, so we made it to the property. You guys can see it kind of in the back there. This is all new, actually. This was not here last time we were here, so this has been more popularized, I guess. We have this lovely picture of what the house actually used to look like. Okay, so I was correct. So there was the little thing here, the opening, and the, the, the um, what do you call that? The overhang thing there, whatever it is. Oh, okay. So, last time I didn't go to the pump house, and I don't think I went to the livestock building. So, we gotta at least find that in the chauffeur's garage. Well, we're here. Yep. You just gotta walk the trail all the way up. All right. To the dam in the Catskill uh, Aqueduct. I like to see that. All right. We can do that. And but first things first, I gotta put this away. Northgate driveway. Alright. So we have another quick sign here. Contrast view of the early 20th century landscape of the Northgate with the present day view. Many of the tulips, popular birch oak trees that exist today came much later after the estate was abandoned. Breakneck Ridge looms above the tree line behind the mansion. Yeah, you can see Break Red right there. That's really cool. Let's head on in this way. Oh. B! Alright, so this is one of the things I found last time that got bypassed the first time I came here. This is the pool. Obviously, no one's going swimming in that today. Let's see what the sign says. All right. Northgate Mansion appears here soon after it was built with the per pergola and stairs to the swimming pool also available, visible. Uh, to the left of the Northgate Mansion was a farmhouse, one of several that existed along the Breakneck Valley Road in the 19th century. The people in the, this photograph remain unidentified. Incredible. There's a drainage system I seen last time too. I love the stairs up there. It probably would have been stepped the West Lawn. So this actually had like a pagoda 
That's really awesome. That would have been really cool with stained glass. All right, let's go inside. You get one? Yeah, your way. By the way, let me know when you want your stick back. Oh, guys. Here she is. Look at these old stairs. What a shame. Uh-oh. I feel it. The rain. Yeah. Here she is, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven chimneys. Ho, ha, 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 ha. I love these tiles though, that's awesome. That's really nice. It's a beautiful staircase over here to the patio. Oh, this was one sexy building back in the day, guys. Let me tell you, you can already tell just by looking at it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. How awesome is this place? Do you wanna come here? Are you planning a trip? Oh, you can still see some of the char. Probably another patio. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. Just want to see down there. And through the doorway. You guys want some metal? Don't come in here and scrap. Don't be that pure person. But look down there, you got all the metal down here. Archway above me. Wow. And work. The old in interior wall here. Wonder what this was. Bedroom or something, maybe. That pipe there is really eroded. It's going to zigzag right through. The old road here. Hudson Highland State Park, Northgate. Is this is the road we came in on. Oh, okay, now we're in the front, guys. Look at this. This is incredible. Very beautiful. So the horses or cars would have pulled around here. And you walk right in. You go to the basement here. And come right up to the front front of the house walk right on in this would have been the living room some kind of plaque or something there all the plumbing there incredible 
absolutely incredible. The loading area. You can actually walk in from here. Watch out for any schnicks down here. So now we're standing in the basement, or what would have been the basement, and it's now kind of filled in a little bit. Still a lot of pipes. Tile. This is tile that would have been on the walls, I believe. There was some still on the walls somewhere last time we were here. Yep, okay, so here's some of the tile in there. Wires? I think that's some wires. There's a plaque place up there. Okay, there's more of the tiles that I was talking about before. So they had some, uh, looks like they had tiles around each of the fireplaces at one point. walk right out the front plaque over here so let's see what this says all right this is what it would have looked like from the front oh here's the plans let's see so over here would have been a chamber no that's the chamber maybe Okay, this is the chamber, I wanna say. And the house, okay, so those were servant quarters over there that I was looking at before. And all the, this is the second story. So up here is where all the nice, really nice stuff would have been, reception, hall, den, billiards. All right, another weird section of the road here. Drainage, really smart. Wonder what that was. Some kind of outhouse or shelter, maybe. Now the gazebo up ahead was rebuilt by the Boy Scouts a couple years ago. Not exactly sure the year. Maybe there'll be a signage up here. But I did see an article on that a while back. It's catching up to us. Some mushrooms. Looking out for them schnicks. All right, gazebo. Oh, we're going that way. There's no shading. 
the leaves fall and it probably make some shading in the fall. Well, the construction on it. No wonder it burned so well. It was all nice wood. Yeah. Coming up behind the greenhouse here. Some great views. Just gonna wait for Bernard. Gotta be wary of the schnicks. Oh, we have a signage. While we wait, let's go take a look. What road are we on? You are there. All right, cool. So looking down at the greenhouse. So we definitely need a loop around. Stables in the barn are over here. And then we need to head down the trail that I saw over here, which leads to the root cellar, cold frame, chauffeur's garage, the dam, and the pump house. Awesome. Bernard, so looking at the map here, we need to loop down around that way. And there's a, a fork in the road that you'll take a left at by the mansion that'll lead us to the rest of it after this. Yep, yep. So we're gonna take, this is the greenhouse. This has a basement in it as well. Yeah, I, I don't know that. Do you wanna go you down on the- into my feet, man. I'm sorry. Do you want to come down in, in that way? No, nah, go around. All right, cool. Much more excited. All right. Follow the road, follow the road. This is? No, this, this is the road. No, 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 this is the part that loops up. This is the part that loops up. This is the part that loops down. Loops up where? You, if you look over here, come stand where I'm standing, you can see it on the map. Goes up in that way? Do you see how a horseshoe's here, and then it forks up that way over there? Yeah. Okay, so we're horseshoeing down. You see the fork below the loop after the horseshoe? going south on the map yeah. that's the one we're looking for and there's some there's like three spots between this the stables and the barn so this was kind of like their their uh, farm like area here we just got to be wary of the schnicks and where not So the stables would have been over here somewhere, probably. Huh? Oh, I was talking to the camera, but the, the stables, I believe, were somewhere over here along with the barn. Yeah, but you're no longer there. Well, hold on. So if you come up yonder, make sure there's no schnicks, there's a structure right there. And that's probably one of the ones we're going to go check out when we loop back down that way. It's just amazing the architecture that they put up on a mountain. Right? Literally. This is right below Overlook Mountain. So guys, if you're hiking like the Catskills, this is a place you're going to want to be. So I'm assuming that base there was the stables. That would make sense, right? You think so? Yeah, maybe. Yep, stables, barn, greenhouse all over here. Look at that glass ceiling. Winter storage of palm trees. They had fucking palm trees. This old fence. This was probably where the barn was if that's a foundation. Wow. 
Yeah, I'd assume this is where the barn probably went. The trail that leads down that way. All right, let's go in the greenhouse, guys. You ready for this? How much camera time we got left? 27 minutes. Let's do this. It's a shame some of the structures are no longer here anymore. This is primarily still intact. Like this is like, I would say, I would argue this is 99% still intact. Although last time I was here, the doors were still there. So that's a shame for show. We got some ritual type shit going on in here. Yeah, this is lit. And you can kind of see around. Over here. <laughs> Fucking with me. Hello, sir. <laughs> Anyone down there? So that's kind of cool. I really want to go too far. I can't really see too well down here. But, uh. Can you hear me? Got old Greg in the walls or some shit. Let's go through here. Can you say you found something, old Greg? We were down there. I was calling you so that you would look up through the hole. No, I ain't going in that all the way. Oh, you didn't go? Did you didn't go down there yet? No, I went down, but I didn't go down all the way. Oh, well, hit your camera. Let's go. Hit your flashlight. And I'll follow I think behind. He's if you want to duck. Uh, absolutely. I don't know what the fuck's down there. <laughs> fucking Rattlers, fucking Creeper behind the corner. Cobra Conda? Cobra Conda, damn right. You need the beat up stick? Mm. And I go straight down. So, yeah, even in 1910, they had efficient plumbing. What do you know? I, I don't know if they had sub pumps. They probably had some type of sub pumps or something to get the water. You lead the way, boss. From here into the house, you have a camera, or you have the flashlight. All right over your shoulder, I got you. We'll be back in a few seconds. I won't. This is gonna continue recording. <laughs> Bro, you are such a, such a cowdy custard. Listen, you're not leading the way. There you go. I am leading the way. There you go, Marines first. What's that shiny thing? What I'm saying. Is that a piece of glass from the fucking roof? Might be. There's been a lot of that. That would be bad. Oh, that sounded like a broken piece of glass. That would be see. bad fucking ass, bro. It's just, yeah, years of fucking shit falling in here. But it's still, yeah, it's still completely fucking intact. Ah, uh, damn. Oh, I can put my camera on. I can see in here. There's chains. Chains ringing from the ceiling. <laughs> that, look how eroded that pipe is up there. Where? Right there. Right oh. up, that one right there. Oh, it's just got shit hanging off it. No, 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 the uh, pipe in the ceiling. That? It's completely eroded. No, this. right in front of it. This. This. No, 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 no. To your left. To... Oh, this one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Someone's a good graffiti artist, though. Look at that. 
Yeah, it kind of pisses me off. Yeah, shouldn't really be doing that shit here. Okay, that was the pipe we looked at before. It smells down here. Oh yeah. Got <laughs> all the fucking gross concrete. Woo! Shit, you scared me. <laughs> Don't be <getting> scared. <laughs> Now just imagine coming in here and fucking at night time. Right? Pitch black. I'm good. Alright, wasn't there some other shit to look at? Yep. Down, and my battery and uh, memory are almost fried, so... So, we've reached the, uh, either the barn or the chauffeur station. After you, my friend. I don't know if there's a sign up here, but there's clearly a sign over there. Yep. So this is my first time being to this section. Just taking a note real quick. There's some structure over there behind this tree. There is a bridge here. The remains of a structure here. Now what's interesting about this is you would imagine there'd be more framework left, but... Is that the interior? Still pieces of shit. Yeah, look at this. Big pieces. Probably loaded with fucking asbestos. Alright, this probably would have been the chauffeur's quarters. Oh, or we'll find out over there. There's another one over there. So there was one, two, three. Wow. Moseying our way inside. And obviously this is a little bit higher because your head height would be here. This would have been the ceiling. So maybe the floor was lower? Yeah, yeah. Well you gotta remember it's been what, hundred years? Yeah. 120, 140 years? Oh no. Hundred. Hundred and twelve? Hundred thing burned down in the sixties. So at least a hundred and no. No, no, close to eighty years. Yeah. So oh, that's a lot of shit falling in. Big rock in the fucking wall. How the hell did that happen? They built around it. Heading towards the final structures of the Cornish estate here. We have another map. Let's see exactly where we're at. Okay, those must have been the livestock buildings. Yep. And then the chauffeur's quarters must be... Oh, that, that's the pump house. No, 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 we're not that far yet. We're here. Oh. So what is... Oh, that's the garage, the chauffeur's garage. Yeah. And the livestock building. And these, that's the barn. That's the barn and stables. So these two buildings, what the hell are those? That's what we were just looking at right there. Oh, okay. So then... That's got to be livestock, too. And then that's the chauffeur's garage. Yeah. Because that's right there on the road. We passed the root cellar. That must have been the stairs. Or do you think that was the cold frame? No. No. There's the pool. The side of the house. We didn't look at that. Well, we walked past something with the... I was wondering if the stairs might have been that. We didn't look at the sunken garden, either. Here's the pool. The sunken garden's over there. Oh. The large gazebo was there. So we didn't see that either. No, no, the guard. We didn't see the spring house either. We went to that gazebo. We'll cut back around and cut to see, see anything there. All right. So hold on. We definitely don't want to take this trail. We want to head on this one. Transportation at Northgate. So it was a horse carriage like I had assumed. I love the running water coming through here. Here's the garage. Yes. 
That looks like a garage. Which means that's probably the chauffeur's quarters there. Or whatever was the other thing. How do we get up here? Windy, windy. something there. Hmm. I wonder what this was. This might have been the livestock area. Sorry about the jet noise, guys. Um, I'm assuming that those noises flying over above are the planes from West Point doing their uh, flight practice or whatever you have you. Now oh, Bernard's over there. All right, let's head back this way. All right, we finally reached the pump house. Yeah, oh well, cistern, close. I wonder if we'll find the thieves guild in there. arrow that way see if there was another option haha -ha, little did they know always be on the lookout for snacks oh what uh i don't know i haven't been this far before oh shit Going over the sketchy dam. No schnicks. Always a positive. Super cool. Look at that. Damn. You don't get this kind of quality with the standard definition, guys. I want you to leave a comment down below. Do you prefer standard definition or VR, bro? 4K VR, guys. I dropped the money on this camera just for you, fam. Just for you. Pump station up ahead. Skeet. I wonder where that goes. Oh, what's left of the pump station? That's been picked apart. That used to. I think they used to have more on it. I've seen pics of it in the past. This is amazing. Look how low down that goes. Yep. Compared to this side over here, and you can see how far down, or how much buildup is inside this. Oh, for sure. From over here. Oh, there is a plaque up there. I guess we have to go up the trail up here to the plaque. Well, we can end the video there. What? Well. Oh, the cistern, yes. It's got a pump to it, and that's what fed the house. So maybe it's back over by the house. Possibly. I do recall seeing a cistern. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. I want to get a photo up there. Let's do it. Oh, this is the end of the road, guys. Or is it? No, it's not. 
All right, it keeps going. All right, go okay. ahead. So from the pumping station, if you look to your left, you see a large pipe coming up the mountain here. Oh, now I see it. See it? And that is putting the water up. And I'm assuming it's gotta be up higher because it's pumping the water into the reservoir, which is then going to allow the water from the reservoir to flow down into the estate for the stables and for the house itself. Here's the pipe. So there's the big pipe. And um, yeah, see it's still running pure right now. Okay. You gotta keep going up the trail. Here's a plaque. And let's get this plaque. Thomas Cole in the Hudson Highlands. <clears throat> okay, this is just a view. This is a view of here, 1825. 26. Huh? 1826. Huh? 25. Just 27. So yeah, we'd both be correct. But that's how amazing it looked. Oh, Storm King Mountain. Okay, that's a popular hiking trail. Yes. And that's the mountain across from us. Yep. Amazing. Whew. And that's probably what the property looked like there. Yeah. Oh, we have some. Well, ladies and snails, that concludes our video here. If you enjoyed that, make sure you like and subscribe to J. Murray Athletics. We're going to have more content coming at you soon. Lots of hikes, lots of jiu-jitsu, lots of fitness. If you like exploring, visiting new places. All right, guys. We just went all the way up there. We didn't find any cistern. Um, all in all, hike was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I think Bernard really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. Recommend this to your friends. Make sure you send this video to them so they know what to look for. Another hall, kitchen, pantry, dining. Then on the first floor you had your library. <coughs> chamber, chamber, chamber. Staircase hall. Your bath, your servants' court, servant, servant, servant. Okay, really cool. So the servants would have stayed in this section here on the first floor. And the owners would have had up here. Really cool.